what is up guys welcome to the channel we're back here on american truck simulator once again and if you have not figured it out this is an ats youtube channel anyway guys today we are back in the max superliner i love this truck it just drives so nicely we've got some nice fuel on us today what do we got we got propane we got 31,500 pounds going to fresno with a gallon oil over there well, it's going to be about a 10 hour trip today it's going to be part day, part night trip, and we're going to be heading, what is that, Highway 6, down to, uh, yeah, Highway 6 West, down 95 South, then over to 395 West, through Fresno. Yep, it's probably going to be a little backcountry road action. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Uh, please forgive me. I got my, uh, oh, what is it, an SKRS, I think it's what it's called, SKRS shifter in uh, yesterday. It is set up for full Eaton 18 speed, so I'm still trying to get used to everything. Um, this truck does not have a gear indicator, so I've been turning off the uh, mini map, try to do it without that. So if my shifts are kind of screwy or short or messed up, I'm still trying to get used to an actual Eaton shifter, so. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're running the uh, Detroit Diesel in this truck today. Sounds beautiful. Mm. Especially at those high revs, it sounds good. All right, let's get started. This shifter is so crazy to drive with, but it's awesome at the exact same time. Oh my god, this camera. Seven low. Yeah, try to figure it out. It's such a cool experience, though. It, it really, the immersion with this into the game is just so freaking awesome. All right, we'll wait for this guy. Yeah. We'll wait for him. All right. Here we go. telling you guys if you're thinking about getting this best hundred dollars I've ever spent that's right don't you overtake me right here dang I'm like hauling butt at 60 it's my bad why is it 30 what a weird place for 30 miles an hour that's stupid 
I need to learn kilometers per hour because this truck is uh, set for that. Uh, man, I'm not doing 30. That's just retarded. Huh. This is not... Sorry, I'm swerving everywhere, guys. I apologize. I'm messing with stuff. Hope everyone's doing a, having a great day. And, uh the past couple videos I'm gonna be trying to get a video out every day this week so you guys be on the lookout for that I'm gonna try to use, use different trucks different scenarios stuff like that uh, I do have a, a special truck I have not shown at all that I'm planning on doing tomorrow because I think well no I've released a video this morning uh, this might come out, this might come out early, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then, uh, I'll have another video with the, uh, truck I plan to do. Finally, 70, I can't believe that was 30 back there. I think there was no cops. I've really come to love this this Mac. It's such an awesome truck. Uh, I hope my audio is not too loud for you guys and y'all can hear me. <laughs> oh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Downshifts for a little sloppy, but not bad, not bad, right? I love the way this thing idles, it just sounds awesome. Turbo kick in at about 1500. Oh, yeah. I think this stays two lanes. This shifter's a lot nicer than what I used to have to do with all the toggle switch on my wheel. That got kind of annoying. This thing is awesome. Nice set sunset over there over the desert and mountains. Now, if you remember the uh, first video I did showcasing this truck, the GPS unit was not there. Luckily, um, they came out with a fix on that, and now the GPS unit is there, which makes it a lot better. Especially if you don't want to run with the uh, mini-map, since it just it doesn't look good, you know. This is going to stay green for me. Alright. Oh my god, I missed my turn. Not bad, not bad. I don't like going that way anyway. Idol. I love the idol. Hmm. Just sounds awesome. Those lights need to be longer. They're way too short.
I believe that's literally a television <laughs> that they used. That looks kind of funny. What the hell? Oh. Did not mean to hit the uh, splitter. I love how this truck has the roll and it picks up and pushes down as you give power and give brake. I love that physic. Here's one thing I have a question about though. Okay. I have one truck. One truck that I have been testing. And the CB antennas actually move on this on this mod. And my question is, why can't all the trucks have the antennas that move? I mean, to me, that just looks so much cooler, right? I mean, you gotta agree, it's cool to go outside the truck and you see the antennas moving back and forth. I mean, that's just so cool to me. Even on my private truck, in real life, I like to watch the antennas move back and forth. I mean, call me weird, but I do. So. I think people should take... Um that one mod and actually run with it and make antennas move in the mod like let's get this thing realistic you know drop a like down there if you agree I think there's a lot of stuff they could have done you know why are the mud flaps completely solid the mud flaps can't move a little bit I mean that real life into the game make the trucks seem like they're real right now they're literally just like toy models that we drive if you kind of think about it and um, I don't know they should put some more movable physics in it I think It'd be cool. maybe they'll do that one day that'd be super sweet if they did Drop down in the comments, what would you like to see on a mod? If you had a choice to put whatever you wanted on a mod, what would you like to see? I'd like to see, like I said, more movable physics. I think that would be awesome. Also, SCS, if you're going to put CB antennas on the outside of the trucks, let's put CB radios inside of the trucks, please. <laughs> Come on. Oops. I'm taking those turns really wide. There's no one on this road. Little old me.
the desert night Gonna get my throat slit from the hills that have eyes Oh, shooting star. Sorry, that made no sense what I just said. in the Fresno. <laughs> Just head to the uh, other side of Fresno and drop this load off. Quiet Jake break. Shit, shit, shit. That, man, that was embarrassing. I just went into low high. Don't judge me. Please. This is literally my first time not doing this with any kind of gear indicator. So. I don't think I've done too bad. I need to get the little medallion that goes in the shifter. So I can just kind of look at that. But I think I'm getting her down.
again. Gosh darn it. Going to this gas station it looks like. Let's go. I mean, the propane tank's right there, but hey, man, you're the boss. I'll drive your load wherever you want it. time I've delivered to a gas station in a cool minute. Oh, shut up. Can't you see I'm working here? My dick is bigger than yours. Oh, yes, he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, shut up. Fellow trucker trying to back up here. You want to shut up? They made me overturn. Made me overturn, you son of a bitch. I'd like to thank you once again for coming on this awesome adventure to deliver some gallon oil to the gallon gas station. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any combos or trucks you'd like to see, do not be afraid to ask. I am always ready and willing to take suggestions. Until next time, guys. Peace.